Welcome, man. Welcome back to the channel, man. What I'm going to talk about now is uh, the PCB valve. I got a question off my uh, channel. Uh, guy want to know, where's the PCB valve at? Uh, he have a charger with a 2.7 in it. And I just happen to be working on one. So I figured I'd shoot this quick video. Now, the PCB valve, positive crankcase ventilation. And what it does is uh, remove vapors out of the engine and route it into the intake manifold. So what they're trying to do is remove harmful vapors from the combustion chamber from the, cause keep in mind this valve is mounted on the valve cover. So it's essentially removing the vapors out of the valve covers and the combustion chamber and it's routing back into the intake manifold. Now at a predetermined time, it will burn those vapors along with the air fuel mixture uh, in your engine. Okay, now when I say predetermined time, I mean that because you don't want uh, you don't want to be uh, burning those vapors at the wrong time, say at idle, because you can easily stall out. That's why some PCB valves can cause cars to stall out. So uh, there's we call it predetermined time that it does what it do. Now this particular car, this is a 2.7 liter Chrysler engine. This valve is mounted on the passenger side under the intake manifold on top of the valve cover. So I got this car here. I'm gonna take you through the steps and procedure in order to replace it. Now, when should you replace it? Uh, there's a time interval for everything and PCV valve is not an exception. Uh, but me personally, I will replace this valve every time I do a tune up simply because it is inexpensive. Okay, now I've seen some PCB valve cause mechanics, headaches, just brain farts, just everything. So <laughs> every time you screw in spark plugs, do a tune up, I suggest replacing your PCB valve. All right, I don't want this video to be long, so let's go through the proper procedure on how to replace a PCB valve on this Dodge Charger with the 2.7 liter engine in it. All right, it's pretty much the same on any car. First, you gotta find its location. So Again, I always say in order to find where a particular part is located at, you got to understand what it do. And a PCV valve is no exception. All right, so let's get to it, man. Let's replace this PCV valve. Okay, okay. What we're going to do right here, we need a couple of tools. I have an electric drill right here that I got a 10 millimeter attached to. We're going to need that to remove the intake. We're going to need this pry bar to remove those metal tabs on the side. And of course, we're going to need this 10 millimeter to remove those nuts. Now, let's get this air cleaner off because we have to get it out of the way. All right. Carefully remove this. Don't pop. Don't break nothing. Remove the holes properly and set it aside. Now we want to uh, remove the electrical connectors. We got one right here on the throttle body. We got one uh, on the map sensor. And the one in the front is called a short runner valve. So we're going to get that connector. Get all these connectors out the way. Because again the goal is to remove this intake manifold. Because that's where the PCV valve is hiding on this particular car. All right, this particular car, they all different. All right, so now this hose that routes between the manifold, that's actually the hose that attached to the PCV valve. So we're gonna get it off it. Sometimes they have a clamp on it. Just remove the clamp and uh, just pick the hose up. Now, uh, what we're doing now is uh, to take your 10 millimeter wrench and uh, remove these two nuts over here because we will need a pry bar to pry them off of the manifold just a little bit, not much. And uh, we got two uh, vacuum lines right here one's going to the booster and another one's going to uh, i think the purge system at any rate they got to be removed because this is your egr tool right here all right let's get the manifold off we can do this speed with speed and use your electric drill so we're just removing it take it off now to remove this manifold you're going to take a little finesse so don't be so rugged and rough with it be sensitive and gentle with it so we can remove it properly Whatever angle you have to position yourself, do it properly so you can remove the manifold. Uh, slide the EGR tube out of the manifold and slowly finagle the manifold to the point to where it will clear that upper windshield wiper housing and then you can remove it properly like this. Alright folks, now this is the PCV valve on this particular car. It's attached to a hose and it is uh, grommeted inside the valve cover. Simply take a screwdriver 
pry up under it pop it out and ladies and gentlemen uh it's that simple there you have your pcv valve it's a shame you had to do all this to get to it but sometimes it works like that remember we want to keep the vapors out of the engine at some point that's it thanks for watching comment subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next video